Hey guys, I'm Sam here at NA Studios. In this video, we are taking a look at different overhead drum mic positions. We've taken a look at kick, snare, and rack toms. Now it's time to see about the overhead mics, what's capturing the cymbals, and the overall view of the drums. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit like. Let's jump right in. So here I've got three sets of overhead mics that I've recorded. The first one was an XY configuration. So I've got the two mics on one stand pointing at 90 degrees from each other. So the mic on the right is capturing the ride cymbal and the one on the left is capturing the hi-hat. Then I've got an ORTF, which is kind of an approximation of an ORTF. Typically ORTF is the two mics at 17 centimeters apart and 110 degrees apart. It's not degree accurate, it's not centimeter accurate, but it's pretty close to it. So this gives a bit of a wider spread of the drums. And then third of all, I've got a spaced pair. So one microphone was over the side with the hi-hats, and then the other is over to the ride side. And these are equidistant from the snare. I like to do it three drumstick lengths apart. So I've measured with a drumstick, three drumsticks away, and each microphone is exactly the same from the snare as it was in the other positions. Let's start off and let's take a listen to all three microphone positions, starting off with XY, then ORTF, and then spaced pair. Now, I'm not the best drummer in the world, as you can hear from that, but I've tried to get a bit of everything there. I've tried to get some kick, snare, cymbals, the crash cymbals, some hi-hat, and some ride cymbal, and we're gonna see why in a moment. So the first thing that I noticed is that the ride cymbal spreads out as we move across the positions, going from X, Y, O, R, T, F, to space pet. So let's talk about these positions first off. X, Y is famed for having the best phase coherency. The capsules are very closely aligned, so they're almost in the same spot, really. So anything that comes into them, the snare mainly, is going to remain in phase. I've put these down the center line of the kick and snare so that they are equidistant from the kick and from the snare. The only stereo information is anything off to the sides, maybe the toms or the, the cymbals there. So you'll notice that the XY doesn't sound as wide as the ORTF or the spaced pair. And that's good for phase coherency, but as we'll see shortly, it doesn't necessarily tell the whole story. But let's take a look at phase to start off with. I've got my overheads bus to a channel, and then I've got Ozone Pro on that channel. And what this has is a very handy phase meter. So as we go between the XY to RTF to the space pair, we're going to see a bit of a difference in the phase here. We've got zero and minus one underneath it and plus one above it. The closer to plus one it is, the better the phase correlation is going to be. That's essentially the idea. Because if it's at plus one, that means it's got good phase correlation. So everything that's in the left is in the right. It's not quite that simple when you're doing stereo miking, but it's enough to say that stuff that is in the left is in phase with stuff that is in the right. When there are peaks in the microphone in the left, there are peaks in the right and troughs as well. We don't want anything to be out of phase. Let's take a look at this phase meter then as we play the takes and we'll see that the phase correlation meter changes as we move from one microphone technique to the other.
So you'll see that for the majority of the time in XY and ORTF, it stays towards that plus one. It doesn't go down below zero at any point. And this is what we want. We want it to be in phase. It's likely that symbol hits or anything that's not in the center is not reaching the microphones at the same time. That's to be expected. So the hi-hat is going to reach the microphone that it's pointed at before it reaches the one that's pointed at the ride. But for the most part, it stays in the plus one area. As we moved on to spaced pair, we moved down below zero. So what this tells us is that the phase coherency is not as strong in the spaced pair because stuff is reaching the microphones at different times. So certain instruments, certain symbols, for example, are falling out of phase. I've chopped out a section here of each take. So starting off X, Y, O, R, T, F, and then space pair. And it's just the same section, but recorded with the three different positions. I want you to take a listen to the ride symbol in these because it spreads out. As we start off with X, Y, it's very narrow and in the center. And then as we move on O, R, T, F, and space pair, it gets further out to the sides. Let's take a listen. Now this stands to reason because in ORTF and space pair, we've got stuff panned more to the sides. I've got the overheads panned hard left and hard right at all times, but this just goes to show that differences in the two microphones can amount to a fair amount more stereo width. So we're getting far more in the sides of the ride symbol in the ORTF and even more so in the spaced pair. I've also chopped out a section of the crashes. Let's take a listen to how it sounds as we go throughout the three when they're next to each other, so it's easier to hear. Now, as we move on through those three mic techniques, the crashes get far brighter. And this is because the microphones are pointing far more directionally at those symbols. In XY, we're just getting a narrow spread of the whole kit with nothing particularly pointing at the symbols. ORTF, they are pointing directly at the symbols. And then space pair, they're pointing directly at the symbols from the top. So we're getting a far more direct sound. So if symbols are really important to you, if you're aiming to get a lot of the symbols, a lot of the brightness of the symbols from these overhead mics, then I think space pair is going to be the one for you to go for. If you're aiming to get that ride symbol to be really wide, then space pair again is going to be a good one. But if you want that to be more narrow, if you want that to be kind of focused and um, mono compliant, then XY is probably going to be the one for you. Let's take a listen now to a section and just concentrate on the snare and how it changes going through the three mic positions. In XY, the snare feels very controlled. It feels quite direct. As we move to ORTF, where the microphones are pointing outwards, it gets less direct. It's now no longer a direct sound coming into the microphones. It's more of a distant sound. And in the space pair, we would think that it's actually going to get even more distant because the microphones are both further away and pointing downwards towards the cymbals as opposed to in the general direction of the snare. But we actually get a far more controlled sound from the space pair than we do the ORTF. Let's take one more listen to that. So in the X, Y and space pair, the snare is more upfront, more focused, even more so in this instance in the spaced pair. The ORTF, it kind of falls back a little bit. So if you're aiming for the snare to be at the forefront, front and center, then X, Y or space pair are going to be the ones to go for. Now, overall, ORTF picks up a good spread of the full kit. As I said, it's not a technically accurate um, ORTF, it's not 110 degrees quite, it's fairly close, and that's 17 centimeter, it's not quite, it's a little bit less than that. But this seems to pick up a good spread of the full kit. We don't get anything too bright, as we do in the symbols in the space pair, and we don't get anything too direct, as we do the snare in XY and space pair. But it's a good overall picture of the kit. So I'd say if you're aiming for something that is going to be nice and bright, 
and it's going to be nice and controlled and punchy, then Space Pair is going to be good for your cymbals and for your snare as well. If you want something that has those attributes, but is a bit more narrow, is not quite as far spread, then XY is going to be a good one for you. Or if you want something in between, ORTF is going to be a good spread of everything. Hope this has been useful for you. Make sure you subscribe and check out the rest of the series where we looked at snare, kick and rack toms. And check out the rest of the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.